going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Urban Beardsman. Today, I'm going to tell you how to buy a pair of sunglasses and three tips. Tip number one is all about the frame. you got to pick a frame that fits your face. And a couple things that you want to look for. First of all, is it too small? So I'm pulling out these. Pretty gnarly shape, right? I dig the roundness. But here you can see if you look straight on, it bows out a little bit. And that's when you can tell that a frame is a little bit too small for your face. Another thing that you want to keep an eye out on is where the bridge hits your nose. So you put on a frame like this. The frame's good for me, but you'll see there's a gap right here in the nose. And most importantly, what you want to do when you nail your frame is really get the color right. And that's kind of for you to see. How well does it play with your hair? How well does it play with your beard? How does it fit on your face? That's going to be really important. Now tip number two, we're going to be talking about quality. And quality comes in a lot of different things that you wouldn't even think about until you think about the lens. So you've got your temples, which are the part that sits on your ear. You've got your frames. You've got your lenses. You've got the joint. Um, or the hinge that ties it all together. And all those can be manufactured in different ways where cuts can be cut and make the product cheaper. So a high quality lens like Dick Moby, they're using a cellulose acetate. And what's nice about a cellulose acetate is the frame itself will actually break down in about 115 days if you drop it in the ocean. So you're not gonna deal with um, all the plastic set I don't know if you guys heard about this or not, but birds in the, the ocean are ingesting because they're just floating in these plastic bits in the ocean. So a brand like Dick Moby is going to consider those things, but cellulose acetate is a really high quality. And the alternative is an injected mold. So with an injected mold, the way you can tell the difference is when you look at where the temple meets the frame, you'll notice that the temple has like this jagged edge to it. And that means with the cellulose acetate, they've cut it to that part. Whereas with an injected molded piece, it's going to fit perfectly. So it's probably going to be a, a smooth edge on the end. In terms of quality, other things you can talk about is a wired frame. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but within a wired frame, that allows you to actually resize the edges of the temples so that it fits your head perfectly. Whereas if it doesn't have that wire in there, then it's not going to be able to hold its shape. Small things like in the hinges, they use like a Teflon hinge, which will be able to keep the edges from dropping, whereas a less quality one will be able to not hold that edge as long. Other things you can do is retighten it on the top. So there's like a lot of a little details. Of course, the lens is a big one. You know, do they have scratch resistance? Do they have uh, anti-glare? protection in there, of course, polarized or not polarized, that kind of comes down to how you're going to be using the glasses. And then in addition to that, really like how clear are they? I mean, how much film? It's only something that you're going to be able to see on your own. And those are all the things that really kind of make up the quality. And then from there, I think one of the most important things that a lot of people look by or, or don't even consider is the brand and the company behind the sunglasses. You know, why are they making these sunglasses and what are they trying to do and what is the story they're trying to tell? Is it trying to be a fashion company or is it just some huge conglomeration that's trying to eke out every little penny and dollar? And, and that's okay. Like if you're just looking for, you know, uh, something that fits your style and there's a lot of variety, go that route. But I always love going with those small independent brands that that are trying to do something different and have a unique story to tell. Dick Moby, these guys are awesome, but there's there's tons of other great uh, sunglasses companies all around. So I hope you learned a couple things. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on. What's up, Beardsman peoples? We're from Dick Moby. Happy to have you here. Me, Dick and Moby. <laughs> Dick. Who's Moby? I'm Moby. He is. I, I lost a bet and became the dick of the company. <laughs>